Okay, so this week split in, I did two things. Okay. So in the beginning of the week, we were doing point of view, and then now we're starting first hand, second hand account, which um, I'm actually glad I did it this way because they really already, they picked up point of view very quickly, and they're picking up first and second hand very quickly, too. Good. Yeah. But we had done a lot of primary sources before. I'm trying to so think about scaffold that into it. You and I had talked about last time the Frederick Douglass, right? The letter. And the, yes, okay. we're doing that at the end of the week. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we're doing that tomorrow, actually. Oh, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we're taking the Ruby Bridges book that we did and the story of Ruby Bridges, and we're going to be doing um, comparing and contrasting those. So we'll be doing comparing and contrasting first and second hand for two two activities. Nice. One with the Frederick Douglass and then one. So that'll really give you choices. some more information yeah. on if they're really getting it or not. Right. Because today we did a sort and they had to determine if it was first hand account or if it wasn't based on like what they gave. Um, you know, this is a speech by Dr. Martin Luther King. So okay. that would be first hand or you're taking notes from a PowerPoint. So that would be second hand. So mm -hmm. they were able to do that. So this would be good to then bridge them into the next of critical thinking on their own. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I'm glad I only did it for a week. <laughs> Why is that? Well, just because they already have it. Because I was going to intertwine the first and second hand um, through the rest of the unit. But I don't even know if I'm going to have to do that. Oh, okay. So I'm what are you pretty confident? What are you that. using to know that they have it right now? Um, well, it's just the observation us discussing today. They um, took pieces. I xeroxed copies of the story of Ruby Bridges, and they worked as a team and they highlighted the keywords to let them know that it was a uh, second hand. Love that. And yeah. then, then they shared out with the rest of them. So. Each group did one, but then at the end, everyone had a combination of four different evidences. That's great. Yeah, so that worked out well. Um, so those are two good, right. different types of formative assessment from the observation to that yep. piece. And then they did the sorting today as a, as a group, as a partner. So that helped me too, because I could look. Yeah, so talk to, to me about the sorting.